folks, it is August 30th. We're about 13 days away from leaving. And in a Team D fashion, the car's apart, but it's not as bad as it was last year. So a couple Sundays ago, we went to Lunchbox's brother's um, celebration of life. And when we were taking the car over there, every time we'd put it in second, it would grind real bad. And uh, I'm like, that's weird. This transmission's always been shifting like butter. And so I decided let's take the transmission apart. So long story short, took the transmission apart and second gear was pretty chewed up where the little notches are, I'll show you. Pardon my air conditioner, it vibrates and makes everything loud. But as you can see, uh, these teeth were just getting worn. So we did a new second gear, all new synchros, um, new sliders with new teeth. And we're getting this deal back together. I uh, didn't film any of it. I didn't film any of it because I've been out here just trying to work. But um, we got that going on and then we have this going on. Uh, my radiator hose prior, I'll put a picture in. Literally rode, as you can see, on the downpipe and went in. So right now I'm in the process of we're going to make a stainless hose that will come and connect to here and get around all the headers and downpipe and all that. So that that's not riding on the downpipe. I wanted to do this last year before we went, but I never got around to doing it. The radiator hose lasted, there was no issues there, but we might as well, while we got, a, got time, do it. Uh, we're also waiting on a new clutch. If you guys have followed Tony and Tess at all, you've seen that uh, we both, use ACT Tony's really been working with ACT and so sounds like I may be um, getting a different clutch from them uh, this one probably has 25 passes on it maybe 20 and uh, maybe 2,000 miles and we were uh, we were at the track uh, the last outing and you can tell that in third gear it when I made my first hit in third gear, it was not happy. And uh, it's an organic clutch. And it's like once those things get glazed or hot, they're done skis, they don't, they don't work. So we're gonna try something different, hopefully. Um, and as soon as I hear from Tony and ACT, and ACT we'll get the uh, bell housing off and get the, the trans in, uh, the clutch in, then the trans back in. Um, I'm gonna probably just work on that stainless pipe from now until then I also have new door channel because the car is 30 something years old and it's been rode really hard and those are all rotted so we have those to put in I'm gonna put a new windshield in it and then we ordered the rest of the cage from wild rides it's on its way so it should be here next week I think my neighbor and I are gonna try and uh, get that in there it's already pre-bent so I don't have to worry about anything like that there's just a few pipes or tubes that we're gonna have to notch and uh, that's that. I'll try and keep up with you guys. And then uh, I think we're in good shape to be out of here, packed, rested, and good to go on September 13th. We talked about maybe leaving earlier than that, but uh, we'll see what Tony and Tess want to do. So with that being said, uh, catch up with you in the next clips. It's Saturday, August 31st. <clears throat> had my uh, sister and brother-in-law over last night but I got some work done on that radiator uh, hose that I needed to make I think I'm going to make a few little changes to it and then I'm going to weld that thing all the way up been trying to get my chores done this morning before we leave so we're what two weeks out ish and uh, just had the tires rotated on on the tow rig and got the oil filter fuel filter water separator so I'm gonna do that today change oil on this pig so that that's done uh, it's about 1580 miles from California to Lufkin Texas where we're headed so the truck's gonna get some mileage put on her and I want to make sure everything's good to go before we leave obviously uh, running errands just 
consumes all your time and I live in a town that took nearly every road that had two lanes in it and turned them into one lane. So you literally cannot get anywhere around town in a hurry and you can literally go through neighborhoods to get around faster than you can on the main roads because there's too many cars and not enough lanes. Uh, anyhow, uh, I will catch up with you guys in a bit and I'll show you the lower radiator hose that we're welding up. I haven't been filming much of any of this process. Uh, got the transmission assembled and done, ready to go back in the car. Um, I've just been trying to hump away. Uh, I ain't nervous like I was last year to get done, but we are getting close to the wire as far as the roll bar is concerned. So I bought the, thing, the stuff from Wild Rides to finish the cage. I don't know if I already talked about that. That won't even be here till Wednesday. Um, so I also need to get the headliner out of the car. I need to have the window taken out of the car. So I hope next weekend I can have all that stuff taken in the car and done. And then I get the glass put back in it and should be ready to crank. All right, here's my little radiator hose thing I've been working on. I'm getting ready to put some dabs on this deal. It is Labor Day. And when you put dabs down, sometimes it's best to have a little rap music. I know, I roll, 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 no trip, this a river, I roll, 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 no trip, I roll, 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 no trip, this a river, I roll, 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 I know, I roll, 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 no trip, this a river, I roll. Taking the window out so we can put the roll cage in and put a new window in it. typical Jason fashion we leave in a week cars completely ripped apart or the rest of the cage to finish the cage in the car uh, ended up cutting the wrong amount or off of the wrong side of the bars that wild ride sent me so that's cool um, and then with all the holly stuff I have up in the kick panel and a billion wires everywhere I um, took the AC out of the car and um, I will probably try and revisit it later when I have more time and it's not a week away from leaving for, for racing. And I'd probably probably want to do something like the, uh, how they do on the electric cars and convert it that way so I, I don't have to worry about running anything off the pump up there, blah, blah, blah. So at any rate, I'll flip this around, show you, and then it's back to just humping and trying to get this done. So yeah, what a complete freaking disaster. Uh, Right now I'm making filler panels for those holes. Uh, I had to loop the heater, heater, this heater tube. I'm not even gonna mess with that right now. So I got that looped. Just got stuff everywhere and apart. I'll put this all back together the way it was. I may buy something to eliminate the AC pump. That'll just be the idler pulley. And then later after the race, when we get back, perhaps I change all that to something else. I don't know, we'll see. But it's Friday, we're a week out, you know. All right, y'all, it is uh, Tuesday, September 10th. The window was put in today. Still need to put the seats in the car. Uh, if 
I didn't discuss it earlier in the video because I didn't film any of it. We finished the cage in the car. It used to have a roll bar. We finished it. We got the rest of the stuff from Wild Ride. So it's in, in the car. Uh, I'll flip the round, camera around and show you. Came out pretty decent. New window, so I should be able to see in this thing at night. But uh, we also got a new clutch. Um, this is the one that Tony's been working with ACT on. So it's kind of like a, I don't even know if it's got a part number yet. I was talking to those guys over there, Eric. And so this is something that Tony was working on and I'm gonna try it in my car. So I'll flip the camera around and show you all this stuff. So ACT is a local company to us and we always been trying to run their stuff, been running their stuff for a very long time. Um, so this is a twin disc. It's got some uh, different materials, so it should, the, the clutch disc, so it should last a while. Um, pretty nice piece. It's I uh, can't wait to get it out of there and see what it looks like in the car New window in the car Here we are again, uh, man. I'm on I'm like crunching trying to get done. I have a few things left to do in here I bought these to replace don't know if I'm gonna have time for that interiors back in the car cage is done So yeah there's another thing that's happened. My uh, son has come to live with us, so he is gonna go with my wife and I and Tony and Tess, and he's gonna ride in the back of this Mustang. Haven't got to spend much time with him throughout his life. Uh, been one of them uh, parental alienation type things, so I haven't really been able to be a father to him, so I hope he enjoys going and doing this track stuff because he's gonna be in for long haul. It's about a 10 day adventure for us. But uh, I'm gonna get the car rolled up. The trans is already out, obviously, because I had to fix second gear. I think I'm gonna get the car rolled up onto the lift, or into the lift bay, and get everything that's in there out, get the flywheel, get all that stuff out, my old stuff out, get the twin disc ACT in there, get the trans back in, and I may call it a night. I, was, I only got four hours of sleep last night, and I've been um, hurting, and I would like to get a decent amount of sleep tomorrow and then, uh, or tonight, and then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna take off work a little early and get my hair cut and then get back here and get cranking. I really hate being down to the last few days before we leave and I haven't driven the car around the block or anything. Not worried about the engine, but had all the wiring harness out from underneath the dash for the Holly and, and, and all the stuff that goes with the Holly, the, for, for a turbo car, you know, the dome pressure wiring and all this, Mac valves, that was all out. So I really hate the timing being this close, but Got to do what I got to do. Um, hopefully, pray to the good Lord upstairs that everything goes in smoothly and there's no issues. I've been with the gang, we some pup, pup, pups. Stay on top of green like a pup, pup, but Acting on me, giddy, yo, oh, oh, oh. Do my own thing, so, oh, oh, oh. I roll, I roll, roll, roll. No drip, this a rhythm, I roll, roll, roll. No drip. I roll, roll, roll. No drip, this a rhythm, I roll. Well, we officially leave in about 26 hours and took the car around the block um, because it's had a new water pump, thermostat, radiator. I built a lower hose for it, put a roll cage in it, and we had second gear issues, so we fixed second gear and took the car around the block. And uh, I noticed fifth gear, I put it in fifth gear and it popped. I didn't notice it at first, but I put it in fifth and it had popped out. And then I was driving and put it in fifth. And then I seen that the RPM was like at a thousand. I that's weird and I rev it up. So it popped out of fifth. I get on like a stretch where it's about a mile from my house and put it in fifth and it kind of grinds going in fifth, but it does go in and after that it's like the transmissions in la la land um, grinding being weird so i basically coast it through the intersection and then my wife my son and myself push it all the way home back on the lift get it apart and the uh, clip that holds the fifth gear um, slider came off 
and so I'm hoping that's it. I took the top cover off. I don't see anything. I don't see anything weird in there. Everything seems to be fine. Good action. But this is this ring that came off. And of course, like once you take these things off, they oblong. And so I kind of went through my box of T5 stuff and they're all oblong. This one is the best one I had. And you know, if this wasn't spring steel, I might put a little tack with the TIG welder on there, but it's spring steel and it'll lose its tension. Why it came off, I have no idea, but we're back together now. So I'm gonna push the pin into the, into the rail for fifth gear and uh, put it back together and pray that it works. All right, it's Thursday, September 12th. We're trying to leave it. Steph, my wife and I, my son, we're trying to leave Friday morning at about 2 a.m. I think Tony and Tess might leave earlier than us. I'm not sure, but it's uh, about 9.30 and I'm gonna grab a piece of metal so that when I stand the little trailer up, it doesn't uh, try and slide back into my car. That's kind of been a problem with the way that I load this stuff, but I'm limited on how much room I have on that trailer. This, that, or the other. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I had to wait to fill the transmission with fluid because the sealant needed to set. So, uh, that and I'm gonna grab an air, uh, air tag because people like to steal shit and make sure that I am tracking all my stuff. But uh, that's the update and I'll check back with it after the test ride. Washing the little trailer. Car's ready to go. All right, not leaving when we thought. We're about four hours behind where we thought we were gonna leave. It's almost 7 a.m. Everything's locked and loaded. We gotta go get some E85 and some diesel. And my truck wanted to do regen or whatever right now. So we're gonna pull out and we're ready. First fuel stop, 100 bucks, 20 gallons. And put it at full. <clears throat> Everything looks good, everything's tight. Everything's golden. I'm gonna go use the head and back on the highway. Till about 3 a.m. and then pulled off into a rest stop and I tried to sleep for a few hours got a little bit of sleep but couldn't really sleep and we got back on the road and well, I only made it like 45 minutes and we pulled back in another rest stop and I slept for like 30 40 minutes I still feel like crap as you can tell by looking at me I felt a little bit better I got to stretch use the restroom put some water on my face um, and now my wife's doing the same, so son's in the truck sleeping. We're here just checking everything out. And uh, as soon as she's done doing whatever the heck she's doing in there, get back on the road and see how much further we can go. And then I think I might jump out at some point and let her get back in and maybe I'll get some sleep then. But yeah, so far, so good. I noticed the uh, trailer fender over here is coming apart so 
So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to put new fenders on this thing. This trailer has been really good and we've used it a lot, but I noticed, I'll show you. That sucker is up. Some better days. Maybe weld it up or something. Anywho, we're about 460 miles out from Lufkin. There's a test in tune tonight at the track. Don't know if I'll do that or not. When I left town and I had some energy I wanted to, but now I'm kind of thinking, shoot, let's just get to the hotel and get a good night's rest. So we'll see. Anyways, we'll catch up with you guys later. I need a lighter, but we don't have one. So I can melt it down. <laughs> 